Hey guys, this is Yulia from Transformation by Fruit, and today my friend Rosa is joining me because she has a story of true transformation. <laughs> but for real, she was able to eliminate all her symptoms of multiple sclerosis by following a raw food diet, no medications, just 100%, well, not a, almost 100% raw food. 80 to 100. 80 to 100%. No. 100% vegan. Oh, Rosa, how did this Yulia. all begin? All right, well... First of all, I was eating a pretty shitty diet, um, you know, standard American, meat, cheese, whatever, some veggies and fruit here and there. And working in but, a restaurant. And working always. in a Mexican restaurant did mm -hmm. not help out. But <clears throat> anyway, uh, at one point while I was working, um, I started getting all these symptoms. My hands got, re got really numb. I just couldn't feel them. Feel, it felt like, you know, I was standing out in the cold for hours. And um, I was slurring. I was slurring a lot. I had to pay attention to how I enunciated words all the time. And I couldn't walk straight. I really just had a whole bunch of symptoms. I had headaches. Uh, I had a lot of tightness. Can they see this? <laughs> I had a lot of tightness in my, my mid area here. And um, what do you mean tightness? Like you tightness, felt like, like you couldn't. Like it just felt like if like. I had a hunch over because like if I got up it felt like it was just like stretching something I don't know it mm -hmm. was, it's called like the MS hug hmm technically but it's just I couldn't stand up straight a lot of the times like at night like if I would go home and sit down I try to get up like it would just hurt so bad and mm -hmm. um that actually was the first time when the first time that happened was the first time I went to the emergency room and then they told me I had heartburn. Not like that makes any what? sense, right? It doesn't, it makes no sense because heartburn is obviously not like, it felt like it was like behind my ribs and that yeah. is not where heartburn happens. Yeah. And then um, I would go to doctors for my numb hands, you know, and they, <laughs> can we edit this? I'd go to doctors and they would tell me that I had carpal tunnel. Um, one doctor even when I fought with her that it wasn't carpal tunnel, she, um, she, uh, she told me to wait and see if the symptoms just go away or if she wanted to recommend me to someone else, to a neurologist, so. And you had these symptoms for a while, right? Yeah, they I had these symptoms. No, I had these symptoms for a few months, mm -hmm. even. And I couldn't write. I was like, it was like my first semester of college and I had no fine motor skills in the right side of my body, I guess, and I couldn't write. So it was just, it was all kinds of terrible. Then I went to the neurologist and she was concerned, finally the first doctor that was concerned. And um, I got MRIs of my, um, my brain and my spine and I got a spinal tap, which they, I don't want to go like too much into scientific detail, but Ooh. they check for like these bands in your, in your spinal fluid, which indicate that you have it, um, indicate not you know, they don't positively say that you mm -hmm. have it. But, um, oh, that's, but, um, then my doctor told me that, you know, yeah, I definitely have MS. You know, I had like over 50 lesions in my brain. So my doctor told me I definitely had it and she mm -hmm. wanted me to start on medication right away. Mm -hmm. So, um, I was, I was just freaked out, you know, obviously I just wanted to get on medication and do whatever I had to do. So then um, I started it, it was, I had to take shots three times a week and I just yeah. felt, yeah, I just felt like shit. Like I felt nauseous. Mm -hmm. I, I just felt like I straight had the flu forever. <laughs> and um, you had like no energy. I, I had no energy. <laughs> I was really angry. I started getting really angry mm -hmm. and just really depressed. Shut up, you Try Leah. working with her, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, no, no, no mas. <laughs> no mas. El jefe no mas. Oh my god, I can't, I can't video with you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, I only went on the medication for like six months, and then I just thought about it, and I really did not want to trade quality of life for quantity of life. I would go from like being like, happy to angry to depressed, like I was just really bipolar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> no, but I was. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then uh, I got off the medication completely 
and I went back to the raw food diet, which I was doing like on and off for a few months. So I would like feel really good and have all this energy. Mm -hmm. And then I guess from working in a restaurant, I would go back to a normal diet and be eating like quesadillas mm -hmm. and feel like shit and have no energy again. And I would I'd break out. It was just gross. And <laughs> so. so what kind of food, what kind of raw foods were you eating like back and forth? while you were um, transitioning. Well, with the help of Yulia here, she told me to eat a lot of dates. So I was eating a shit ton of dates, a lot of bananas, mm -hmm, a lot mm -hmm. of just uh, apples, pears, you know, whatever. Yeah, I remember whatever you were all about pears. I love pears. <laughs> pears are the best. <laughs> I, I put those in green smoothies now. They're so good. Oh, oh my yeah. god, that was great. Oh, those are my favorite. You know, my my aunt got me a, a bullet. Oh, the Nutribullet? bullet. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's so nice. Hell yeah. But um, so I, I was kind of like falling off the wagon, going uh, being at work all the time, and then um, since I since I quit my job in uh, the beginning of August, so I think like since like July, that's like seven months, six or seven months, mm -hmm. I've been doing it, I've been doing this religiously, and I have so much energy all the time, mm -hmm. um, I was just telling you that uh, I only sleep like six hours a night, and I feel great from that. And no coffee, no caffeine, no, no, no anything. Nothing, just straight, Yeah, you know, raw, natural, and occasional cooked vegan meal here yeah, so what what is a typical day for you what is all right look like? well every morning lately I've been having a green smoothie with mm -hmm. um, a banana or two or mango um, and some spinach and I just mix that up it gives me it gets me nice and pumped for the day mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no? uh-huh <laughs> and, and then throughout the day I usually have like honestly like five or six more bananas that's good. And Keep it I coming. have, you know, whatever other kind of fruit. Like I was saying, pears are still big, you know, pears are still delicious. <laughs> pears are still delicious. So but, do you think that you eat, like, a lot a lot of fruit, like, during a day? Like, yeah, I eat a lot, lot of, of fruit. fruit. I try to fit some veggies in there, but mm -hmm. I really just mainly crave fruit. Like, I crave mm -hmm. bananas and mangoes, mainly. <laughs> That's awesome. And um, I'll have an avocado for, um, you know, fat. Because fat is supposed to be good for for your um, your nerves, like the nerve conduction. Mm -hmm. So I try to get some of that in there. And you prefer like avocados over like nuts or seeds or anything like that. Yeah, or... every now and then I'll have nuts or seeds, but I really just don't crave it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, because after a while you'll realize that your body just craves what's good for you, mm -hmm. and you don't really have to like fight off bad cravings. You just kind of you know are attracted to healthy, nutritious items. And you were fruit, telling whatever. me even like your aunt would make you vegetables with like just a little bit of oil and you were just, you yeah, know, like yeah, no like, oil, no salt. Yeah, I put, um, I'll put a little bit of like sea salt on certain vegetables when I, when I um, like bake them or, or broil them or whatever. Mm -hmm. But if like for something like a little bit of oil for someone else is a, a lot of oil mm -hmm. for me. I just feel so worn down when I have oil or um, too many nuts or too many fats. It just it doesn't mm -hmm. work for me. Um, so low fat, high carb, high fruit, yes. vegan diet. Yes. Mostly raw. Key. So now oh. I've um, I've been in remission for a year. So, and symptom free the whole time. Any medication? No medication. No medications. <laughs> <laughs> no medications. And it just feels really good. I mean, I'm just like all natural. I work out, I go to yoga, you know, it's just. Balance is on point. Yeah, balance, no, nothing artificial about uh, how I'm living at the moment. So. That's awesome. It's just really good. And then you had a question about uh, advice, right? Yeah, what would you tell to other people who think they have MS or are diagnosed with MS? Or um, I would say mm -hmm. that a lot of it is about your mental state. So you can't, if you get diagnosed, you can't let it kind of like take over your life and get all depressed about it. Like you have to commit, like you have to be positive and commit to getting healthier, you know, getting naturally healthier. I would say definitely 100% the raw food diet or raw vegan diet is the way to go. Um, I know a lot of people with MS have a lot of issues with fatigue and 
um, you know, energy or energy deficient. So not this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Not anymore. I go to the gym for like two, three hours at a time. But oh my God. Uh, the, the raw food diet definitely helps you with energy. Uh, it, it helps your attitude. You're in a good mood all the time. Mm -hmm. You, um, you just, you just crave healthy things and you just, you're just, you're just healthy. I don't know what to say. I, and I just <laughs> want to make a note that I, the last time I saw Rosa was seven months ago before she started doing this a hundred percent. And let me tell you what a difference a hundred percent makes. She was doing it. What would you say before? Like 50, 60% like, yeah, about that 50, 60% raw vegan cooked. Um, and then the other 40% was like yeah. still standard American. Now she's 100% clean, 100% vegan, 100% high carb, almost 100% almost raw. raw. <laughs> Completely different person. Like Completely she's just healthy. so high vibe and awesome Honestly, and happy. And I'm so even? Aw, <laughs> thanks to this girl right here. <laughs> Honestly, before even um, comparing now to before I had any issues with this, I have never felt better in my life. Like, I have more energy now. I feel better now than I have ever felt. So I would definitely recommend this to anybody. You know, and get her as your nutritionist. <laughs> so. Well, if you guys have any questions, feel free to post them down below. I'm going to put Rosa's Facebook on there so you can message her if you have any questions for her. Or Absolutely. she'll probably watch the comments on this video and she'll reply so thank you so much for watching guys we love you and stay tuned for the next video thank you guys bye I smile too much you know I this raw food makes you smile too much so okay it's fruit it's natural it's natural. natural jesus in your body <coughs> exactly jesus in your body that's <laughs> <Started. laughs> hello welcome <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Is it recording? Yeah. Yep.